today we are going to learn about these words first one is uh, gerund the second one is infinitive third one is participle and fourth one is a direct object and indirect object and fifth one is complement let us start from the first one gerund basically gerund is a verbal noun is so a verbal noun it is used uh, as a subject in the first place it is used as a subject there is example swimming is my hobby swimming is my hobby Now swimming is gerund. The second example, it is used as an object. For example, I love riding very much. or gerund as a as an object the third example it comes after preposition he is fond of reading he is fond of reading gerund comes after preposition it comes after preposition now we come to another one that is uh, infinitive what infinitive is when we place to before the first form of verb it becomes infinitive just like this we come to second one infinitive to go to come infinitive <laughs> example i wanted to go he refused to help me he refused to help me or these are infinitives you can add another example to add is human to forgive is divine to forgive is divine there is another word that is bare infinitive bare means without infinitive we take example of that bare infinitive here are the examples i would rather go than stay or these are go and stay examples of bare infinitive there is another example he dares not go he dares not go now this is another example of bare infinitive now we come to third one that is participle now the first one now here it is participle the first one is present present participle the second one is past participle 
and the third one is participle adjective participle adjective now we come to the first one that is present participle here are the examples <coughs> Swimming in the river Now swimming is uh, participle swimming in the river he drowned himself This is example of present participle you can say just uh, i'm going this is another example of present participle it being late i could not go outside it being late i could not go outside this is another example of participle now question arises here what is difference between participle and join now we compare this example of participle with example of join i like swimming or this is this swimming is join and this is swimming is participle this word is participle now here when we compare i can say swimming is profession is a noun and this swimming swimming in the river now this is verb while swimming in the river this is you you can differentiate between participle and gerund we come to past participle we come to the second one the second kind of participle that is past participle example of past participle surprised by his behavior i left his room or surprise is past participle this is past participle as you say uh, i have deleted your message because past participle is third form of verb past participle is third form of verb now uh, this is past participle now we come to third one that is participle adjective participle adjective example of participle adjective barking dogs seldom bite now barking is participle and it qualifies this noun dog so this becomes participle adjective there are many examples of participle adjective you can write down there is another example i saw many smiling faces smiling is participle adjective because it qualifies the noun faces there is another example a rolling stone gathers no moss this is another example of participle adjective now we come to fourth word that is direct object fourth one direct object 
here we call example he taught me a lesson the first object is indirect object the first object is indirect object the second object is direct object the second object is direct there is another example this is this as is indirect object a good gift is direct object and we come to the last one that is compliment we come to the last one that is compliment what is compliment a word that completes the sense of the sentence is called complement a word that completes the sense of a sentence is called complement or we can compare complement object complement with direct object and indirect object Now, the first one that is subject complement. Subject complement can be any word. It can be adjective. It can be noun. It can be infinitive. It can be any word. But this word complement completes the sense of subject. Here is example. He seems worried. Now, worried is adjective over here, but it completes the sense of this subject. Now, he is subject. Worried is subject complement. There are many examples of. subject complement just when you say he has to go or to go is infinitive and but it works as a subject complement as a subject complement and there is object complement here are the examples people made him king as we know that this is object in a sentence and this is basically complement and this is called object complement this is not object this is not object but this is complement this is object and this is noun and but it works as as a object complement there are many other examples now this is object and this word basically is object complement i think it is uh, uh, clear to you we have uh, learned these uh, five words uh, thank you very much